Angel B Designs. I'm Angel B. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, when I went to Indi Indianapolis a couple weeks ago, I did post on my Instagram a picture where I used some Atlanta vinyl to make my husband a shirt that said Angel B's husband. I used the um, the 3D puff vinyl from Atlanta vinyl. I did get a lot of comments asking me um, to make a video, a tutorial on that. So that's what I'm doing today. We are going to be doing layering some puff vinyl. As you can see here, I got um, the three different colors. So I have blue, I have purple, and I have pink all layered. Now, you guys, when I purchased this vinyl, I purchased the all color pack, which last time I checked was sold out. So I'm not sure if they have it anymore, but um, I did purchase the all color pack, which came with you guys, basically all of the colors in the vinyl that they had. It was so many colors. And then I also did it on the, the sizzle. So I think this was like a hundred and something dollars for the whole pack. You get a sheet. This is the sheet that you get of every single color. CJ, can you turn that off for me? You get this um, size sheet in every single color. And um, it was 160, maybe 180. I will leave a link for it down below, but it was it was a little, it was less than 200, but it was more than 100, I know that. Um, and then they also have the um, pay in four, I think the Zezzle or the Afterpay or one of those. I use that as well. I see my son acting crazy. Um, but this is what we're doing today. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. So the vinyl, um, I just have a Make Market 100% cotton t-shirt. I picked it up at Michael's. Um, but yeah, I will have links for everything down below. So this is what we're doing today. So go ahead and stick around for that. Guys, so I have my puff vinyl on my mat here. Now, I've never actually tried to cut it like this because this is how I normally cut it with my Cricut. This is my first time trying to cut it like this because I need this, you know, the words in different colors. So this is my first time doing it with the Caesar Romeo. Hopefully this works out. Basically, I just lined it up the exact same way that I would. Um, the same way that I would line it up with the Cricut like how it is on the mat I did the exact same thing so nothing nothing different I'm just hoping that I did it correctly okay so what I'm doing now is I'm I'm just placing my blade on the blue part here which is where I'm going to cut the first word so hopefully it cuts Gemini in blue, and then the first air word will be in purple, and the second air word will be in pink. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here to my cut settings here. Now, you can um, do your settings on the Caesar Romeo. You don't have to do it in um, the actual software on the computer. So I'm going to see if they have Puff on here which it does not look like they do. Okay, no, there's no puff on here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create the setting. Um, so I'm going to go to other, the presets other, and I'm going to click on the empty one. And then I'm going to go to rename and I'm going to name this puff. You guys, my nails is so crazy. Okay, save. And then I'm going to click load. 
So now I need to put my cut settings in. So I'm going to do 13 speed. I always do the highest speed just because I'm impatient. As far as the force, I'm going to try. I'm going to do a quick test cut. I'm going to do 20. And I'm going to do a quick test cut on my purple piece here. Let's see how that looks. Let me get a weeding tool. You know what? I loaded this the wrong way, you guys. I just now realized it. I put this on the mat the wrong way. These should all be flipped over. This is the carrier sheet. So it should be this way. Okay, so I'm going to have to... What I'm about to do is flip all these over, do my test cut, and then I'll come right back. All right, guys. So I did my test cut, and I did end up going with um, the speed, 13 speed, and force was 20 is what I cut it on. Um, I flipped everything over and, I'm, and I am um, inserting it through the back versus the front. Um, when it comes to vinyl and loading it and things like that, it's still, I'm still kind of adjusting to it because I'm so used to Cricut and everything with the Caesar Romeo is kind of like backwards. So as you'll see here, um, it's gonna cut the first two pieces correctly, but then the third piece, it did not cut correctly. Um, I didn't put the material in the right spot. So the pink cut fine. This right here is the purple. It also cut fine. And then once it gets down to the blue, it's it's not going to cut. As you can see, it's kind of my blade is going onto the mat. So it didn't cut the blue piece right. So I did have to go ahead and um, recut that one. And this one is in real time, so I didn't actually speed this up because I did want you to see how fast it cuts when you put it on 13 speed, which is the highest speed the Romeo will go up to. So this clip is in real time. I did not speed it up, um, but the Romeo does cut pretty fast. And this is, I recut the purple piece because when I went to weed it, it was kind of weird. I don't know, it was weird. So I recut the purple piece and I recut the blue piece. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and press it. All right, guys, so um, I do have my pieces cut out. Now, when it comes to the Caesar Romeo, I'm still kind of learning how to get the vinyl onto the mat and into the Caesar because like the issue that I have is that I'm used to doing it, you know, with the Cricut and it's one way, but then when you do it with the Romeo, it's kind of like backwards almost. Um, so that's why you saw in the first, like the first cut, it didn't really cut all the way. So, or it didn't cut right, so I had to recut it. Um, now we are doing puff vinyl, so I'm gonna do a quick um, pre-press, but I'm also going to use this time to adjust my pressure because we know with vinyl, with puff vinyl, we need firm pressure. So I'm gonna make that a little bit firmer. Mm, it's actually a little too firm. Okay. So that should be good. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. So I think this should be good. But I'm just doing a quick, a quick pre-press for um, 15 seconds. Now my press is at 300 degrees. And then we're going to press the puff for... 15 seconds with firm pressure, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put down my first layer here. And I wanna make sure, because I think it's, actually, you know what? The Gemini one goes last because these kind of go, let me see. Actually, I'm supposed to cut these. So I want to try to line this up on my shirt first 
before I press it, just to make sure I have the design right and I'm putting down the right pieces. Okay, so I believe it's supposed to be purple, purple. Now I kind of need to look at my computer so I can see the design. Let me see. So that piece looks like it goes there. And then this piece should go here. Oh, uh, you know, I gotta move that over a little bit. I think this piece might go second because that one doesn't really fit that well. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go look at my computer on the design and see how this is supposed to be layered and I will be right back. So I figured it out. It's um, Gemini, obviously, and then purple, purple, pink, pink, okay? So this is how the design goes onto the shirt. Okay. So with that being said, the first piece I want to do is this pink piece, just because it's gonna be closest to the neckline. So this is going to be the starter of the shirt. And I'm gonna do it about three fingers down okay that looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and press this piece first and that's gonna be for 15 seconds now the rest of the pieces I am gonna try to press multiple pieces at one time Actually, I may not be able to, so. There's the first piece. It says, oh, it says it's a cool peel. I mean, a warm peel. So I'm gonna let that cool for like two seconds. Right, and then this is going to be the next piece. And I think I'm gonna drop my time down to 12 seconds. Actually, I'm gonna drop it down to like eight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the second piece. And we're still at 350. Or this time it's eight seconds. And for whatever reason, my timer did not go off, but I know that was eight. Okay. Now, when you layer, I know somebody's gonna ask when you layer multiple pieces. Um, I am using Atlanta vinyl. So like, you know, they say that you should be able to layer multiple pieces, which is what I'm attempting now. This is going to be the Gemini piece. And then I'm also going to see if I can layer this piece as well. And just because I want to do this as in as less. Nope, I'm, I won't be able to. I'm going to have to do it one at a time. But 
they say that you can press it and it won't mess up so let's see to cover these other pieces of vinyl i'm going to use the carrier sheet that i took off the other pieces so i don't have to use the parchment paper and then we're going to press again 300 degrees this is going to be eight seconds Oh, that blue looks good. Do y'all see that? Ooh. Oh, that blue looks good. I just hope it stays puffed when I layer this next piece, these next two pieces. And then I'm gonna cover it. Same thing, 300 for eight seconds. And then we got one more piece after this. Now for this one, I'm gonna use the parchment paper and this will be our final press. 300 at eight seconds. So that blue puff and all these other puff pieces still look really good. Do y'all see that blue puff? okay so that <laughs> that looks really good so the blue is puffed up the most because they're not they're like filled in letters whereas like these are just outlines so you can see the puff on the outlines but you really see it on the blue and that looks Wow, that looks really good. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna turn it so hopefully you guys can see. I'm using my phone so I can't really see if you guys can see it in the camera. Okay, there we go. And I will leave a link for everything down below. Um, I did get this puff from Atlanta Vinyl. Um, when I so I posted um, when I went to Indianapolis a couple weeks ago, I posted a picture of some puff I did for my husband's shirt. It said Angel B's husband. I used. Um, I did use Atlanta Vinyl for that one too. And somebody wanted me to do a video about how I layer. So this is one way, and as you can see, after I pressed the blue, I still had to press the pink and the purple, and the blue stayed just fine. So yes, you can layer it and do multiple presses. But that turned out really, really cute, you guys. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, bye guys. Thank you.